Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays Chess. I'm a little nervous, I'm not gonna lie. Um, we have not done a, a bespoke made chess video in, in quite some time, maybe like close to a month. Um, found myself with a little extra time today, a little time to, to chunk away on the YouTube algorithm. And and quite frankly, I must thank you for your support on the chess videos so far. You've made it the, the number one priority when I get that little slice of extra time. Let's play some chess. We are rated 1545 as of right now. I would love to, you know, like I, I love the memes, don't get me wrong. Like some extent, uh, to some extent, I should say. It's nice to do a video um, where you can be like, okay, so here's the thing, by the way. I do want to push C5 at some point. Which, If I'm going to push C5, I kind of want to push E6. But if I'm going to push E6... I'd rather develop my bishop first. Maybe to there. <clears throat> and then we'll see how this goes. We want to do something like that. We don't want to push e6 first because then the bishop's kind of trapped on this one square of coverage. But yeah, you know, doing a video like, oh, I'm going to do the worst opening ever. I'm going to do the worst defense ever if you end up playing as the black pieces. It's, it's fun, don't get me wrong. I wonder... What if this have? Like, I, I could, if I play e6 now, I could get stuck, I think. Um, but I'm also like, hold on, hold on, check this out, okay? e6, g4, we can't take because of the queen, obviously. g4, queen h4, check. There's no good response to it. King here. Could do something else, but let's assume you do that. Bishop takes. If they, if they do this, I think this would be a big positive for us. They're, pushing the F-pawn is always a little dangerous. There are a lot of opening lines as white, if I remember correctly, that, that do do this to, you know, with, without having major problems associated with it. Okay, now if they push this, we cannot do queen to h4 because of the knight. But alternatively, we're also not um, going to be able to not take the pawn. <laughs> we'd still be able to take the pawn. I actually, I'm just going to be honest with you, I have kind of no idea um, what my opponent is doing here. I'm not necessarily suggesting that it's like an overt negative even. Um, I just kind of don't understand. Like, like what is this pawn structure? I... I are they, are they going to try to push this? Like, is that what's coming? Because I'll, I'll level with you. There's a real temptation for me to just do this right off the bat. And that's going to close in their bishop. My bishop, on the other hand, has like a, a nice bit of coverage. I don't know where this knight's going to go. We're not going to, you know, trade the bishop for the knight because the bishop's much stronger. Um, I mean, it can go here, but where does it go from there? You know, like this knight is useless. This bishop is basically useless. So they're gonna try. Uh, they're gonna try a castle, just fairly understandable. You know, you you could see why they would. Our bishop here is pretty bad. I hate to say it, but I feel like bishop e7, knight g6 is okay. Alternatively, I mean, you you probably could consider rolling f7 to f6. And then if they take, which they might not, I mean, if they take, you just take with a knight, which is good for us. But if they don't take, which I would say is, is probably even more likely, um, then you're kind of screwed, right? Um, I, I would like to, I mean, this is going to be kind of a closed game, it seems right now. I think we can get away with... This is a move that appears more pivotal than... Or it, it's more pivotal than it appears to be. Let's put it that way. Queen to b7, I think, is good. Put some pressure on this last little bastion of, of defense here. They can't move the uh, bishop or they'll, they'll end up in a tight spot. Um, I, I want to castle kingside as well, though. I prefer my positional advantage right here. This, this reeks of draw right now. Because I don't know how we're going to bust them down. We're going to start with the coward's move. <laughs> it's just that simple. So 
So I don't know what, what my opponent will do here. J-Dog, Jackson, O2. Um, they could Kingside Castle. They've already got good protection, you know, or good support on this file. Um, again, they can't move this without, you know, it, like it's it's a pretty good situation for us. I think we want to... I, I do worry about like that. I, well, maybe I don't. I know this is like, they will tell you to never move your knight to this position. It's not doing anything else, is the thing. So let's use our brain. What, what happens next, okay? Check this out. Knight to here, we want to take over this space. I have absolutely, like if they do this, I have no problem taking. And then just destroying the king side. Um, I also have no problem doing this. And then how are they going to push me out, you know? I mean, they could move knight to here, I suppose. Um, then we could always just take... I think I'd rather take the pawn, honestly, in that situation. I think we're, we're going to press up a little further. I am a little concerned. I mean, I guess queen to this. It looks bad. Check. Then we just do that. Yeah, we, we should have maybe set up like b7 first or something. But let, let's see how they react here. Okay, so they want to block that spot. I think I, here's here's my way of doing this, okay? I'm not doing this just for entertainment's sake. I think it'll be fun. This knight does nothing. If they do this, we go Dunka, take. They do this. Dunka, take, take. Then we got really good ability. Maybe we do even castle queenside. We got a really good ability uh, from that point onwards to mount an attack on the king. If it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. So we, we did b5 just to prevent b7. This bishop is completely useless. You love to see it. This rook is going nowhere. I kind of, I like our position. But what I was going to say, I haven't gotten to it yet. But what I was going to say is that when you do the meme videos, you're like, if you lose, whatever, right? But it's kind of cowardly. <laughs> it's more interesting, I would say, um, to... To, to play real chess. So-called real chess. And then see how things go, you know? Like, leave yourself out on the line. Not that we're not going to do meme videos in the future, but... I mean, he, he wants to play a spicy game. If you want to play a spicy game, we could play a spicy game. I still feel like we still castle kingside. I don't think I'm... like. I, it's an interesting game, right? Anytime you find yourself in a position where you're like 12 moves in and not a single piece has been exchanged, even a pawn. I think if they take, we take with a knight. We want to keep b7 protected. We can do so. Like If, if it goes take, take... Maybe they don't take me from that. Okay, and honestly, like this, I, I, I kind of expected. Um, I don't think it's that bad. I think now we actually have a nice position to push our... It, it's a little scary because it's going to give them the open file first, I think. But we can push to a5. Um, and then, you know, if they are to take, then not amazing, obviously. Um, but we take here and then we kind of get this control again. If they don't take, you just push it in and then like their pieces are even more locked in. Like like they're insanely locked in right now. I think... Here's what... I also feel like an en passant trap could work pretty well for us. This side is totally locked up. Our pieces are better developed. What do I want to do? You push. Take. Take. Sorry. You push. I take with my knight. Hmm, hmm. Okay, so you're going to start to develop out to here. Or maybe... I don't know what your next move is. Like, I, I think you're going to go here. I don't think that bothers us just yet. I think we get a little tempo out of it, even. And if we wanted to be a real son of a gun, like, check this out. What if... Take. So this this is what I was looking for, actually. Um, this is what I, I I wrote in stone that we could we wanted to see. So do I want to bust it down? I do think so. Yes. 
There is a part of me that's like, how do I want to do it though? Because originally I thought that the knight, because the knight's doing nothing. So I guess they wanted to protect it. I don't know. Like, this is a weird play for me. Um, like, we could... I think, I think here's how it goes. I, I thought about take, take, knight is here. What are they going to do? I don't know. The knight's not threatening anything right now. Maybe they do something like this. You go here, you threaten the rook. You know, they go here. You go here, they go here. Like, it's a whole thing. Um, but I think instead it looks like this. Take, take, take. They might do something like this. That leaves us kind of beholden, right? Like, I, I don't like it too much now that I think about it. What if we did this? Push, take, take. I mean, maybe maybe this is fine. But with three minutes left, and I understand people are always on me about time. With three minutes left, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a bold move here. We're going to take this way. And if this ends up ca uh, cratering the game, then it ends up cratering the game. But their king side is totally destroyed, which is exactly what I want to see. Um... And I do think our knight is going to get to a good position. If we go here and we get bullied off, then we just go back to here, which is a lovely spot. If we go here and we don't get bullied off, then we go to here, which is a, a good spot. But we got to find a way to get out. <laughs> Otherwise, we could easily be trapped forever. Um, the other thing we could do is at any given moment, um, once we have things kind of under control, I wonder if you're going to do like that. I still, I, I like the way it goes, I think. Um... Yeah, I mean, I, I think I'm totally fine with this. I am worried about, like, I mean, I don't really want to do this, let's be honest. But So if I do this, what are the odds? Like, you could go here and threaten Maiden 1, in which case I have to take. Or I have to stop you, at least. But probably I would consider taking. Um, if you do, like, this... We go here, we have a nice fork, and your queen's blocked in. If you go here, we, we still have the fork, and your queen is not blocked in. In fact, I think you can get out of it. If, I, if you go here, and I go here, and we, like, there's so many things going on here, especially with low time left. I'm like, you know, okay, he goes here, I go here. No, bad. He takes, he has a fork. You go here, I go here, trying to escalate on this knight. He takes, I take. You know, I don't mind it. This open file is dangerous. But not as dangerous as uh, <laughs> having your king side completely obliterated. He moves back. All of a sudden, we've got a wonderful diagonal to get things started here. And then, like, if here's the thing. We could escalate here. No, nobody's going to be too upset about that, I think. Um, but instead of escalating, we could also um, fall back. And this is a beautiful spot for this knight to be. That really allows us to to continue to mount an attack on the king, I think. J-Dog Jackson would like to chat. I accept. Northern Lion, please respond. Hello. Sorry, I didn't see your request to chat. <laughs> I don't know if you... My screen region doesn't have it under control, but... It, it, it doesn't have it on the screen. J Dog Jackson wanted to chat and said, "Whoa, are you the actual Northern Lion? Northern Lion, please respond." To which I said, "Hello, sorry, I didn't see your request to chat." Okay, so he goes here. Now here's what I'm concerned about. Okay, actually, you know, here, can I tell you something? I think, uh, no, I don't like it as much as I thought I did. So you think here, beautiful fork. Normally, in in normal circumstances, you would be absolutely correct. I think. What do I do if he goes here? We have to stop the mate. We take. He has to move his queen at that point. What do I do if he goes here? And then... You know, I would take over here. It's Sorry, I'm not doing the intermediary move. And then he takes. There's some spice involved here. I think you definitely still just do this, though. Things are going to get very fast and very loose soon. He will do something with his queen. If he's if if he's uh, brazen, which would not surprise me, he will probably. I was going to say do something like that. I think at this point we are then forced to threaten the queen. Otherwise, he just moves his rook. 
Now get ready, because <laughs> there's like a lot of made in one potential here. Like if he does that, I am concerned. You know what? I think that's that's beautiful, honestly. I think what he's done here is kind of beautiful. How are we going to get out of this one now, dude? We take, he goes here. Can I run something by you? This might seem crazy. If we take here, I think we lose. He just goes here. I can't stop the mate. Dunk, 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 dunk. Can't stop the mate, right? Stop. Oh, wait, no. Because if he took here, I would then take there. Maybe it's fine. But I'm also thinking of what if I did this? You know? He takes. I take. We have a fork. He goes here. We. You know what? I'm going to give it to him. If he's got it, then get it. If he's got it, then get it. Prove it to me. Prove it to me. <laughs> Show me the mate. This is like in magic. You're in Hearthstone. You're like, make them get lethal. Don't, don't resign if it just looks like they're going to get lethal. Make them get lethal. Well, okay, so obviously we're not going to just take and get checkmated. Um, I still don't really know how we're going to get out of this. I think we have to do something like this. So that we, we have one more piece of protection on this. And then to be honest with you, this is a move that, that many uh, Jedi would not inform you of. I think we may consider uncastling. <laughs> Not a very commonly uh, executed maneuver, one might say. Um, and I have no idea if I just maybe cost myself something great here. Because now, like, yeah, he can absolutely take. Why did I get out? I don't know. Like, I just... Losing a pawn is, is better than losing your life, you know? Check. We must fall back. Then you're like, he can fork you, but you take him. This is a very fun game. This is like a, a very... Uh, this is a technical, tactical game. Played well on both sides. And we're not going to take the knight. I mean, that's just... You're entering real absurdity hours. I do wonder about check, take, take. I still, I don't know. This will be one that the engine will be very interesting to look at. I feel like we played a spicy game and we, you know, was, I, I thought we were playing against somebody who was out of cowardice. They didn't want to trade. It turns out we were playing against somebody who, for the exact same reasons as us, simply wanted to get weird with it. You know what I mean? You know, they, they wanted to save all of their pieces to engage in some... Incredible attacks. We want to do something like this next. Like, that's the next move. I think. Um, because we want to pin their queen. Like, we have a, a pretty large material advantage right now. We want to pin their queen. Even if he does this, we do this as well. It's a, it's a fork. Well, it kind of. It's a check with also the queen is under threat. So if we have a material advantage, we're going to be very happy with that. So I think we still want to do this. And if you want... Oh my god, I just got checkmated. That's incredible. Well, that's beautiful. No, ma no matter what he does. Yeah, dude, that was a wonderful checkmate. I, and you were a good sport. And I have said good game. So I think I, I, think I blundered right at the end, to be honest with you, and, and probably lost that one. I got a little uh, into a time crunch, but but that was a very fun game through and through. Yeah, they thought we were up by about two pieces at the end, right here. What did they want to see from me? How do we stop this? It's not immediately clear. Is it that? It is. <laughs> and then this... Dude, you gotta forgive me for that one. I know it seems like we blundered into a checkmate, 
That's a really tough one to find with 45 seconds off the clock, you know, or on the clock. That's a to to be like, yeah, you gotta you gotta sack your queen for a bishop and then get the queen after. I mean, you know, maybe it's not that hard, but you gotta be at better than a 1500 level, I guess. So no disrespect, that was that was a well played game. Let's take a look at the analyses. All right, so through the opening, we're playing book moves. That's a book move. That's a good move. That's a good move. And I, I really think that, like, I mean, this was pretty standard. I actually love that the computer thinks this is fine. I guess it wants us to push h5 first, uh, and then maybe move the knight here. There's no other place for the knight to go, though. Um, and they, they thought that was fine as well. And that's okay. And that's okay. So uh, they do think that, that white's position is actually um, slightly superior, although that's been eroded now. Which is funny, because I actually thought that, like, our position was superior. But anyway, they, they didn't want us to respond. They wanted us to do this. Okay, but then we lose the bishop. What happens after that? Oh my god, they're knights trapped. <laughs> okay, so I mean, I don't know what they do after that. Maybe they do something like that. That would be an annoying... They, they, they prefer e6, which is fine. Then we take, and then they maybe take here. Something along... Oh, no, they take and put us in check. Okay, anyway, that that would have been a very goofy way for this to go, is just completely ignoring what the other person did. But anyway, um, they're like, that's a mistake. They still think this leaves us up, which is, is funny to me. And they are just wondering, why on earth have you not taken over here yet? Especially now the knight has a chance to get out. Um, and they're like, we love that. That's a good move. They think that's the best response. That's a good... Oh, that's the best move, but we've actually lost a lot out of this. And then, you know, it's like mate, basically. That was the only move we could play. Uh, there's a good reply. Oh, not a good reply. Little late. We were just a little late. Although they still really like our position here. They still think we're in the lead. That's the way you'd play it. Okay, you're up by nine. You're still up by nine. This is where I think if we just do this, we win immediately. Yep. They well, they still think we're up by seven, but this this would have won us the game. That move right there would have won us the game. But you gotta remember, you know, you're in a little bit of a time crunch. It is what it is. That that was well played. That was that was a fun one. Lots of I mean, we didn't go deep into the analysis there uh, necessarily, but th there was a lot to uh, there was a lot to unpack there. It was a fun attacking game. I love a game. Um, you know what? Let's. Uh, Let's hit you with one of those. Um, I love a game where uh, you you sack a piece to take out two pawns on the king's side. That's that's like my most uh, my most enjoyable archetype in this game. <clears throat> so I'll, I'll just level with you. Like I, I really don't know like what we're playing here. Apparently, this is the exchange variation of the French defense. <clears throat> this is one of those times where you're like, I'm pretty sure... Oh, so he just wants to cancel uh, queenside. That's like his whole raison d'etre right now is castle and queenside. Some people are very obsessed with the queenside castle. There's a lot I like here. Take, take, knight here. You know, we'd love to get the bishop. We, we are, unfortunately, trading a bishop for a knight already in this position. <laughs> So it wouldn't necessarily consider it particularly strong. What about this? No. Take, 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 we lose a piece. We don't want we don't want to open this up because there's a fork potential there. Um I still you could do take. 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 You probably fall back one. I don't know. Do I there's a temptation for sure to kingside... Like, here's what I like. Kingside castle, rook e1, move your bishop. It's very slow, admittedly. But it, it does something. I, I really don't want to take. Like, the bishop is pretty strong. It's a fairly open game. There's, there's multiple things you could do here. Bishop here... <clears throat> Unexpected, I think is a fair thing to say. I don't mind trading this knight here. Um, 
But there's also definitely a piece of me that's like, what if instead of trading this night, we just start with something like this, and then this night is undefended? This seems like a great way to lose a piece. <laughs> but just work with me, okay? We've now taken a pawn that anchors this piece, which means we actually have an awesome discovered attack. The queen will likely move. Let's say we do some... Yeah, okay, so you do that. What if, at this point, we do... Obviously, my knight's under attack. What if we did this? Alternatively, what if... What if we did... Okay, th this move is bad. Um... Because I, I want the discovery. Like, this discovery is really nice for us. There's got to be a play here that, that makes sense. Here's, here's an interesting one if it only worked. Check. Let's not check at all. Take. King takes. Look at that pin. Uh, sadly, doesn't work for about 17 different reasons. But, but if it did, oh, baby. Well, like, long story short, you, you still can't do that. Please stop trying to make that happen. You know when people say, like, oh, I like what you've done with the place? I do not like what I've done with the place here. I think I've done bad things with the place. But let's double down. When you, when you make an embarrassing mistake, the time is right to double down. <laughs> And then I'm like, dude, you know where it goes from here? What about something like this? Okay, now we got some reinforcements. I'm trying, because my natural inclination in chess is that I have like a lack of confidence right now because when I was 10, I was better than I am now. I know that, that, I don't know, do you take that as a flex? It shouldn't really be taken as a flex. I got to, my brain's 400 times bigger now. Um, I hope at least. <clears throat> do I care about this? I'm not sure. Like, I feel like, what if we take this? And then, like, we don't really want to threaten, actually. Like, I mean, I would love if you traded your bishop for my knight. Let me just get that out of the way. What if we were to do this? Anyway, long story short, so my... my Inclination in most circumstances is be a coward. But I don't think that's the right way to approach it anymore. Check this out. What are you going to do? What are you going to do, coward? What are you going to do? Now I'm not being a coward. Now I'm being like, you know what we're going to do? We're going to escalate in every single circumstance. We get the chance to escalate. Previously, we fell back, fell back, fell back. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to threaten your peace anymore. Sorry, that's my mistake. Now we're like... Get in there. Get in there. And now if you move the queen back to, I don't know, like a position where it doesn't cover this, then we take this. Your king side all of a sudden is in a whole whack of trouble. Plus, can I tell you something? We just got the discovery. You get you stack up. It's like a Jenga. It's a Jenga puzzle, and it's about to all come crashing down. You fall back slightly. Understandable. Now, let's just run it through. Take, 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 like, I, okay. Consider it ran through. You're like, this looks kind of bad. I promise you it doesn't. He takes. We're both at a knight. I'm, I'm at a knight and a bishop. He's at a knight and a pawn. I'm at two knights and a bishop. He's at a knight and a pawn. Now he loses. I felt very powerful right there. I I, I felt like my chess power level hit hit a. <laughs> There's just and I mean we just lost the game right before this, but there are some times where like. Uh, you know, you you just know that you've blown your opponent out because you looked at one line that they didn't consider, and you're like, you know what, I'll take it. We did have a 96% accuracy there. 
And let's like, this is a textbook example. I'm not saying I've never done it to myself. This is a textbook example of just digging yourself into a deeper hole as quickly as you possibly can, right? So, so the opening is very standard to begin with. Very standard. This is not a common move. Like, I think this is genuinely just a bad move. Blocks in your bishop, takes away a spot from the knight. Um, the queen is no longer covering this pawn, which makes knight to c3 that much better. And what's the point? Like, I guess the point is that, like, depending on what I do, like, maybe you do this check or something after. But then I still just do that. I don't know. Like, it, it's just a weird one. So we, we made the best move, which is kind of surprising to me, but I'll take it. It's fine. Good move. Good move. They like the castle. And they do like, at least decently, bishop e1. Okay. This is where it gets a little insane. e4. Not a good move. Leaves this wide open. Uh, now this will not be covered. We replied with the best move. I'm proud of myself for that one for sure. They're like, good reply. You are down by a rook in, in position at least, but good reply. I mean, again, this is one of those things, like, when you talk about it with Levy, it illuminates something for you. We're up by one point, and we have almost a five-point advantage. Pretty easy to tell who's got the stronger position right now. Best move. I'm proud of myself yet again. Okay, now this one, they're like... Ba basically, they're just telling you to kind of take the L on this a little. Like, what if they had done queen to g6? <clears throat> what would we do in that situation? I think one thing we could do is take take f like pseudo fork. Let's see if let's see how the engine likes it. No, they don't like it. They they just like bishop to f4, which still puts a threat on this piece. It is covered by the queen. I don't know. It, it's a much less like bad situation though. They're like, okay, double up on the file, presumably take... Oh my god, sorry, I've gone too far. <laughs> you take with the rook, which is... I don't, I don't know what happened now. Okay, we, we've gone too far. It's, it's been a while since I've been in the analysis. They're like, not a great move. Okay, so what did we do next? We did bishop to f4, which is the strongest move I've ever made. They love it. Three bet. This was a very critical time for us to make the best move. You made the best move. Following this, we take the knight. They do not think that's the best move, which is hilarious. And just shows you how good the position is. They're like, don't even worry about that knight. It's garbage. Uh, and then, like, this is just... They, they actually don't like this it, by, like, a, about a pawn. But, you know, it helped, it helped us get to that. So I'll take it. Well, it's been a good... Uh, we had two good games here. One where... Um, you know, we kind of overloaded on the attacking side. And I thought things went very well. And one where... Um, you know, we had a great attacking game, and we ended up getting checkmated in, in what was a, a cool and slightly unusual way. So, a uh, great video. If you enjoyed it, please do click the like button. I don't get that much time to uh, record chess videos on YouTube. I do stream a lot of it at twitch.tv slash northernlion. I encourage you to follow there. Um, but it's nice to be back, and again, basically, thank you for making the chess videos so successful that, like, I'd have to be a fool not to return to them. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want to see more in the future. I'll see you in the comments, and I'll see you next time. See ya!